Tonight on pay-per-view, you can join us by making the appropriate telephone call. But Brain, what a week it's been. As we get ready for Western Union Slambury, three different world heavyweight champions over the last seven days. We started off with Jeff Jarrett as world champion. Diamond Dallas Page scored the upset on Nitro. But 48 hours later, David Arquette from Ready to Rumble became our world champion. You know what a wild night that was. They were fighting in the back. They were fighting over the rail. They disappeared for a while. Eric Bischoff and Arquette, we didn't know what was happening. Uh, DDP was out on the floor. Jared had the belt. Everybody was hitting everybody. All of a sudden, everything just exploded. Arquette came from the back. Eric came from the back. There was action in the ring. All of a sudden, Kimberly got knocked down. The referee, another referee came in. He went right to Arquette, who was on top of Bischoff. Jarrett was on top of Paige, and he got the one, two, three. Take a breath. Get a hold of yourself over there. We'll tell the story later on this edition of Worldwide, including exclusive Worldwide action. Tony Schiavone and Mike Tanay are standing by. And thanks very much, guys. Mike Tanay, Tony Schiavone in the arena for WCW Worldwide exclusive action. And Tony, tonight on the program, we will see an eight-man tag team match, but we need to talk first about a man who's taken WCW by storm, Big Mike Awesome. Big Mike Awesome will be here in a handicap match. He's a member of the New Blood, and he is really making a name for himself in a short span, Mike. Certainly has, Tony. Now let's go back to me and Gene Okerlund and that same Mike Awesome. Gene? All right, thanks, guys. Here on Worldwide, Mike Awesome on the scene, and he arrives with a very impressive portfolio. As a matter of fact, so impressive that this week on Worldwide, you're going to be facing two men at one time in a handicap match. Yeah, you know what? I don't give a damn about them two guys, but what I do want to talk about is myself, Gene. I spent the last 11 years in Japan putting those Japanese wrestlers through tables and kicking their butts and taking their titles away from them. And now I'm here in the U.S. and I'm ready to do the same, Gene. In World Championship Wrestling, however, things may be just a little bit different, Mr. Awesome. I want to caution you on that. As you know, this Sunday night at Slamboree, you're going to be facing Chris Canyon, a very good piece of talent. Yeah, Chris Canyon this, Chris Canyon that. I really don't give a Chris Canyon either, because the bottom line is, I'm going to pick him up, and I'm going to power bomb him right through a table, Gene. I'm going to hurt the boy, and I'm going to hurt him bad, because that's my game plan. All right, a man that has got an appointment with Chris Canyon this weekend at Slamboree is now a big part of World Championship Wrestling. Mike Awesome, I thank you very much. Let's get back to our broadcast team in the arena here on Worldwide. And thanks very much, Gene Okerlund. Tony Schiavone, there's a new four-man team here in World Championship Wrestling. And I think maybe this, this crew with Van Hammer, Hugh Morris, Chavo Guerrero Jr., and Lash LaRue feel that they've been passed over by Vince Russo and Eric Bischoff. They think they should be a part of this new blood they have certainly been making their name in wcw over the past week and a half or so and i have a feeling we're going to see a lot more of them including tonight all together in a big eight-man tag match i agree with that now let's go back to the studio bobby heenan and scott hudson and thank you very much guys back in the arena another ww worldwide exclusive and it's time for a handicap match two on one the tag team of shane eaton on your right and pw douglas on your left these two men are going to join forces to take on, well, one of the big men that have really impressed a lot of people at World Championship Wrestling in the past month or so. And you talk about opening the eyes of everyone in the wrestling world. Certainly a very awesome individual by the name of Mike Awesome has done exactly that. And go no further than Kevin Nash to find out about how impressive Mike Awesome is. I think everybody in WCW might know how impressive, or if I could use the term, how awesome Mike Awesome is. Our broadcast colleague, Mark Madden, said it right. The size of a heavyweight to move the agility of a cruiserweight. And Mike Awesome has come in here with the moves of a cruiserweight, but he has been very, very adept at using a table to make his point known in World Championship Wrestling. And I think that is the main thing 
that separates Mike Awesome from the rest of the competitors in World Championship Wrestling. That ability to not only use his incredible power and strength, as we've seen on so many occasions when he's powerbombed people directly through the table. Ask Paul Hogan, by the way, about how effective that powerbomb is, but also the fact that he can fly. Moves that we've only seen in the past from wrestlers like the Cruiserweights, like the Luchadors, and this team of Shane Eaton and P.W. Douglas tried to take advantage of Awesome in the early going, but he countered with a double clothesline to the midsection. Well, Mike, the moves he has comes from the power in the legs and the great acceleration he gets going across the ring, back and forth or off the top if he needs to. Watch this. That power came from the legs. It was the connection with the right hand, the lariat, but it was the legs that drove the power and drove the man through. Upcoming at Western Union Slam Burry, Mike Awesome is set to face Chris Canyon. We talked about the moves of a luchador. Look at that! Springboard off the top, and then a double lariat. Down go Eden, down go Douglas. And he landed very, very well that time, and Mike Awesome is in command. Chris Champagne Canyon, the opponent, this Sunday at Western Union's Slamboree, our big pay-per-view spectacular from the Kemper Arena. Oh. It's chair time from Mike Awesome. Awesome Ooh. delivering that chair to the back of P.W. Douglas and now takes Shane Eden and throws him headfirst into the steel steps. Just measuring him, caught him with the right hand. Totally dominant in this matchup. P.W. Douglas, Shane Eden tried to get the early step on Mike Awesome, but Awesome able to counteract their move, and it's been all Mike Awesome since then. Give Awesome a lot of credit. He came into WCW, uh, basically a charter member, so to speak, of the new blood. He has not been intimidated by the guys in the Millionaire's Club. He has been nothing but business since he's come in, and he is performing quite well. What a splash that was. One. Got only a two count there before P.W. Douglas was able to break it up with a blow to the back of the head. But you're right. Mike Awesome has impressed everyone from top to bottom here in WCW. You mentioned coming in as a charter member of the New Blood, doing everything that the New Blood bosses have asked of him. And Mike Awesome appears to be on his way to superstardom in World Championship Wrestling. Scoop and a mid-ring slam. Real shocker when we saw him back on the 10th of April on Monday Nitro walk in unexpectedly. Oh my! Oh, what a frog splash! 300 plus pounds in the air coming down. And Shane Eden able to break it up at the last second and I think he may be having second thoughts. Well, he's got to do whatever it takes to try to win this match but he's just prolonging some agony here. What a move that was! Drove him down to the mat with authority. Just throttled him around the neck and sent him back first to the canvas. Now what does he have in mind? Two prone bodies in the ring. Uh-oh. And Mike Awesome is going to bring a table from under the ring. These guys are both out as it is. I think he could beat them, but I think he just wants to add a little bit extra. This is his what? calling card. Oh, there's going to be a couple of calling cards. This is his calling card, so to speak, in WCW, his trademark. And look at... Uh, P.W. Douglas roll over. He sees it coming, but there's nothing he can do about it. He can't even get off the mat. And now Mike Awesome is going to set up the tables. If it's anything like what we've seen in the past from the awesome Mike Awesome, it could be time for a couple of power bombs for Mr. Eden and Mr. P.W. Douglas. Let's see what he has in mind. Boot to the midsection for P.W. Douglas. What a great camera shot that is from high above the arena here at the WCW Worldwide Exclusive Matchup. Up goes P.W. Douglas, and crashing down through the table with the awesome bomb. Running clothesline in the corner for Shane Eden. I think he's the next victim. Yeah, but he doesn't have the weight of a P.W. Douglas. Not to be a lot of force on this awesome bomb, but getting down. Oh, well, he won. You asked for that force? And you got it, direct from Mike Awesome. A pair of awesome bombs. The cover is going to be academic from referee Charles Robinson. Next up in Mike Awesome sights at Western Union Slamboree, Chris Champagne Canyon. What a matchup that's going to be, Tony. Awesome versus Canyon at Western Union Slamboree, and Awesome continues to dominate in WCW.